Oh my god, Rob, why are you calling me? Today's a Monday, what you doing? Pixel, howdy! It's Rob, how are you? Will you battle my train? We're on Route 2, so give me a shout when you're in the area. Uh, oh, okay, well, that's a great way to start things off. It's Pixel Plume, everybody. Rob wants to battle me, but Rob doesn't know that I'm not going to battle him. No, 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 no. Because today, although we are very near Route 2, I'm not feeling it right now. Because we're here in Pewter City. I'm really excited because today is a Monday and there's something special going on over at Mount Moon. But before I go to Mount Moon, I want to do this first since we're already here. Welcome to the Pewter Gym. You guys remember this? The very first gym. You don't necessarily fight this first. This could be one of the last gyms you fight, actually. So it's always fun to fight this pretty close to the beginning because not a lot of people usually do that. Uh, third, this is relatively random. I like being random, especially thinking about it, you don't get to do these a lot out of order. So that's that's the method of madness. If you think like, oh, you're going in such a weird order, well, too bad. This is the order I want to go in. You know, this is the order I'm going to do. Yo, Legend of Making, you look really rocket. Ah. Are you battling the gym leaders of Kanto? They're strong and dedicated people, just like Johto's gym leaders. I know that, I already fought a couple of them. Although one was a complete baby tease tease, and the other one was quite frankly, a dank man in a cave. But uh, as you can see, you can skip over these trainers. Similar to that, it's the exact same layout actually of the Violet City gym, so that's always nice, but I wanna fight both of them. In the uh, old games, there was actually only two trainers no, no, rather. Well, I guess two trainers if you count Brock as a single player. And I do not have my styles anywhere. And it's on my bed. But, um, they have two trainers to come around. Oh my gosh. It is a Rhydon over there. Rhydon, my dude. So I'm gonna dig underground. Uh, probably not the best choice, honestly, to have Private the Brave in front. But hey, I like to do things differently. And uh, if I get throttled by that hammer arm, it is all my fault. Because I'm pretty sure Rhydon would just go down. Oh my god, in one hit to a special attack, but I'm dumb and private. No, don't die. Please don't hate me. No, 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 no. Oh god, okay, well. You know what? Lesson learned. Don't use physical ever in this gym when you can just do special. Don't get fancy. Don't get tricky with all this kind of stuff because. How did you know? How did you know? Come on, how did you know? That's. That's some psychic magic over there that he, of all moves, he would use. Avalanche. You know, Kirby's Avalanche. Speaking of Avalanche, Puyo Puyo Tetris is coming out soon. I'm really excited for that. I got my Switch. The demo came out. The Direct was amazing for the Nintendo stuff. You know, it got me really excited. I haven't unboxed my Switch still. I don't think I'm getting an unboxing video of it. I just really, it's the last week of school right now, and I do not need that direct distraction right now. And I have a day off, so I figured it'd be a good time to catch up on recording, because I don't have any for this particular week. But hopefully this will be up soon. Probably tomorrow, uh, when I'm doing this now, but you'll already have this up, so. Really, it's nothing for your concern, or anything for you to be concerned about, so Private, I'm sorry that you got throttled for no reason, but this is Plumeria's gym, honestly. And it is with a crash! Probably people make such weird noises, don't they? It's the- it's the game. Kanto is just a cacophony of noises, so he's got a golem. Look at that. Golem's one of the Pokemon that you evolve from trading. I was actually talking about this the other day with a friend of all the Pokemon that do evolve by trading, and I gotta say, out of the original four, I think that Golem's probably the worst of the four, so you pick between Gengar, Alakazam, Machamp, and Golem. I'm never gonna pick Golem ever to use. I- I use a Graveler for a Nuzlocke. It did very well for me, but... I don't know, I just don't think... If I had a choice, I would not pick Gollum. That's that's my broken... I guess because you always fight Brock first. Which, by the way, here he is. Wow, it's not that often get challenged by a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the Pewter City Gym Leader. Yeah, you always see Geodude every time, and I just don't consider it that special. That's why I have no preference for Gollum at all. I'm an expert on Rock-type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most physical attacks, as we learned. Do not try to dig. <coughs> Ooh, it will not work out. I'm sorry. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on! Alright, let's do this. Well, if physical won't work, surely special will, as we saw the beautiful demonstration of Gollum getting knocked down. How many times can I say Gollum in a video? We'll see. Well, we got Graveler first off. So he doesn't even have a Gollum, so... I think, for the most part, this should be a pretty queen, 
queen, clean sweep. Oh my god, I, it, it's early. You saw the time. 11.35 is not early for most people, but it's still early for me. You know, if it's still the AM, that's considered early. Even if I do get up early in the morning, like 6 or 8 or whatever, I never really, I don't ever have it together. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, it is Easter Monday as I'm recording this. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter, by the way. My Easter was pretty relaxing, you know. The, the schedule around the house has been pretty hectic. A lot of weird stuff going on and about. People are here, people are out. It's been a pretty stressful time. But with school wrapping up, it should be less stressful. I can mellow down. I won't have to be so rock solid on the outside. I can just mellow out. It's like a water type, you know. So he's gonna send you a signature Pokemon up next, which is Onyx. So, level 54, definitely nowhere near as threatening as... Is it the same level as Starmie? I think so. But it's an Onyx. Like, come on, we fought a Steelix before. An Onyx is nowhere near as threatening. I, I forget, I think he still has the Onyx when you fight him in the rematch, I want to say. I don't think he evolved to a Steelix, which is really weird, but I guess it is consistent with the typing of his team, but hey. Who am I to judge? We got Sans going from here, so... Little bit of problems, cause, uh, residual damage and less accuracy, but how bad can my RNG be? That's not a jinx, that's confidence. <laughs> that ain't no jinx, that's confidence right there. So we got the Giga Drain, we got the Boss Pokemon. I really like that he has a Boss Pokemon, but in general, he focuses more on quantity rather than quality of the Pokemon, cause his Pokemon in general are pretty low level, I will say that. They are not the strongest of Pokemon at all. But we got- like, look at this! This is- like, I'm- Ah! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Alright, so, we finally get to use Petal Dance! My favorite move of all time! It's so beautiful! You know, while the sand is dancing, may the petals dance before thee. So he's gonna send out Oma Star as his last Pokémon of the mall, so they've all been pretty much getting one shot. Yeah, this ship is really not a threat. I could have easily done this first. This boy is itching for some reason. I imagine something from a sandstorm. You know, he's getting all flustered up, but won't you get flustered up by this beautiful, elegant dance of mine? Won't you? Brock, go down in flames. Pedally flames, that is. Yay, we did it. That was a clean ass sweep if I ever saw one. Looks like you're the stronger one. I sure am. That was, that was a freaking joke. Your Pokemon's powerful attacks overcame my rock hard resistance. You don't have resistance, it's defense. I get it right. <laughs> You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. So you got the Boulder badge, we got a badge, it's number 11. If you're counting, I don't have any more fingers to hold up. I really enjoyed the battle with you, Pixel. I'll give you more of the move, Rock Slide, too. Ugh. It can sometimes cause your foe to flinch. Oh, this is a really good move, Rock Slide. Pretty powerful, one of the most powerful rock moves in the game, so. If I cared about rock type moves, I would teach it, but I don't, so. The world is huge. There are still many strong trainers like you. Just wait and see. I'm going to come a lot stronger too. But you do that, my friend. My good friendo. What are you we done? Yeah, didn't. It was very easy actually, so. Now I think we're gonna progress onwards. So the main activity I want to do for today, actually. First off, I'm gonna heal. Uh, private over here because private took some pretty big damage, but I really wanted to go to Mount Moon today That was my main objective. This is just a little side thing It's funny how a gym can be a side thing now, but that's just usually how the cookie crumbles for the most part I will say that Blaine gave me a lot of trouble last episode, so I didn't get to do as much as far as Main plot stuff. In fact, I said I was gonna explore Seafoam, but really I'm never inclined to explore legendary Pokemon. Let's just put it that way. It's really never my main agenda. Oh my god. So we're gonna be here on Route 3. This route is actually... It may look familiar at the surface value. It looks very much the same as it did in the past. But there is a quite nifty addition to this route that I will show off if I remember where it is. It's quite it's quite good. And also, I am just spinning everywhere. It's not, it's not, it's not cute. Not cute at all, not very ladylike, not very gentlemanlike, you know, all that kind of stuff, but when I said Brock was weak, yeah, these trainers are a lot weaker than Brock still, so it just goes to show that, really, there's only so much EXP you can get, and this game's only getting to get harder as far as the opponents go, so I'm a little bit concerned that the trainers at this point are not proving to be much of a challenge, but hey, it's Jimmy. 
what he wants. Jimmy, old boy. Jimmy, old bean, you've done it again. Private the Brave, you are leveling up and ascending onwards. And we got Arbo. Shout out to my boy Arbo. Everyone should get an Arbo. I would use an Arbo. Except when I had an Ekans last time, it did not work out well. I pretty sure I said this before, but hey, it is what it is. I, I use one as one of my practice runs before I decide to LP this game. That's pretty fun. I think I boxed it eventually just because it didn't have the power that... See, it's weird because like I think my Arbo is... Poison types I associate with status ailments, but it tries to be physical, but it can't do either well. So that's particularly why I'm not too crazy about using this Pokemon, but if you like it, uh, shout out to you. If you like Ekans, if you like it, if you like Arbo, you like Ekans, just shout it out in the chats, in the comments, and oh my god. So he really does have a big range. So I guess we're gonna fight a lot of these trainers. Shorts boy! Get out of here, shorts boy. He completely messed up my irritants. What? I meant to say my pronunciation of Ekin, but oh well. You got me. It's a Golbat. Golbat. No, pronunciation. You know. I really don't care. Especially when people get so uppity about pronunciation. If it's your own name, fine. I understand that. I know people want to be called their correct name. But like, it was like a character in a game or something like Like, come on. It's really no big deal. I I'm gonna be honest, it it's really not, so. <laughs> if you're gonna get an up for you and how I pronounce things, unless you tell me specifically that your name is pronounced a particular way, then fine. But people can speak for themselves if they want their names to be pronounced another way or not. That's all there is to it. <laughs> that's that's my two cents of the situation. So if I'm pronouncing something wrong, then I'm sorry, but this is fail boy. You know? Fail boys everywhere. Can that be a title? I don't know. I'm not quite- Joey! He heard that I beat up another short boy! Oh, what do you want? Let's get- Oh my god. Everyone's just so savage. It's like, I heard you beat up short boy. So Radita boy is gonna take you on. But yeah, over here... Yeah, this is Meteors from Space. They added this to the game, which I think is really cool of a touch, actually. So if you have a Deoxys, you can bring one here and it'll actually change forms in this way. So, they always include this in the game. I completely forgot about it when I first saw this game. It's like, huh, oh, that just makes sense that they did need that. And you can get all a bunch of nice, pretty items. Let's see, where is it? Right here? A lot of star pieces, too. Great for selling money. Great for that. So, that's all the items you can get from there. There's a duo over there, but that's not my concern right now. My concern is being of all the short boys. Fail boys, as you look to put it. Now I don't know what to do. Oh, you're failed. Where are my lasses? There are lasses on this route somewhere, right? They're so precious, Warren. Weren't you competing in the bug contest? I feel like I've seen this name before, and I do remember names quite well. Um, I don't remember where exactly particularly Warren came from. If he's in the bug catching contest or not, I just remember seeing this name for a youngster. I, I just don't remember. Like, I know, um, there are trainers in the bug catching contest, like Picnic or Cindy or... Owl? I think there's a camper Owl or something like that. They're all like trainers from the Fuchsia Gym, which I think is really funny actually that they would go all the way from Fuchsia to Goldenrod just to catch some bugs, like low level bugs at that. So that would be fun to catch up on. I I'll have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure. Like William. William for sure. He is a, a national person. He's a national park guy and he does that. So it's all gravy, baby. So what do you got down here? Fire breathers? You're not a lass. Oh well. Private likes experience, but Private does not like to be burned up by men like this dude. He looks like a magma. I like this design. Otis, he used to look like a clown before, and I'm not sold on the clown look. You guys know me. I hate clowns. With the passion. Do not ever recommend me the Mega Man game with the clown. I'm sure there's one there. I'm 80% sure there is one. If there's not, then please don't make one. I, don't, I do not want to fight a clown man. That would not be great. Um, I don't even know what's going on in this episode. This is incoherent all the way. I will say that. But this is my style. This is what I do. And uh, you know what? Enjoy the ride. Because this LP is getting... I want to say it's getting close to the end. I don't know how much I'm going to do left. Certainly gyms. Certainly red. Certainly maybe the champion again. You know, do that, uh, do that again. I don't see why not. It's part of the content. Uh, but... At the same time, I do think that Lance's rematch is harder than the actual final battle. I, I want to say, but the final battle is pretty dang difficult too. So, 
week, we'll see. Legendaries? Psh, probably not. Probably not gonna- Oh, God. Ah. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking a mile a minute, but there was a hair in my mouth. That was really gross. I'm sorry, I didn't want to- I didn't want to say it, but, you know, I, I had to pause for a minute just to take it out. My hands are clean. I did wash my hands before streaming. Streaming? No. Recording! Always wash your hands before you do things. It's very important. Especially if you have a sink in this house. So, do it. Good hygiene. It's raining. It's sunny, but it's raining. It's a rain shower. Ever seen Arkwright's Fantasia? Like that. What's down here? There is a path down here. I, this route is really expanded, I've gotta say. Oh, that's a Spiro! Buckus. Not quite Buckus, but you know, it's a male. It's here. I don't actually know where Buckus is from, where he came from, but shout out if you know Buckus. Shout out to Buckus. You know, I don't know what row he was caught in, but I know that Buckus. Buckus lives on, but uh, let's see. So we got a big root over here. This is actually pretty good for um, a Bapu over here. This item basically, if you have a move that absorbs HP, you recover more HP that way. So more HP for you, more health back. Always good to have. Then I'll get out of here. There's a Buckus. It's female. Buckus is a female. Make sure to keep that for memory forever. Buckus is a female. So if you ever have to ask, what does Buckus just say? She's a female. There you go. And a and a and a Spiro, but she's now a Furo. So live on, Buckus. Live on. And I really should be switching up just because I don't want uh private over here to get all the experience, but hey, private just like, private knows what private wants, and that's a great way to live life, I gotta say. If you're large and you're in charge, you take it. BLTs? Bailey wants BLTs. Oh my, really? No! Bailey does not like getting exploded on, that's for sure. No, 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 no. You gotta be careful explosion. It's either 200 base power or 250 base power attack. That's pretty darn scary. So even though that that Graveler was pretty dang low level, he did a lot of damage. You guys saw. You guys saw the output. Pretty dang terrifying stuff, I gotta say. But uh, <laughs> we're running out of time here. I'm pretty surprised how things are going. But, but, it'll get done. Trust me. It will. Things things always get done in the end. Oh, Clefairy! I want a Clefairy! Look at how cute it is. I want a shiny Clefairy, too. I think I caught one in, um, in Sun, whatever version I played. Sun or Moon, I forget. I think, yeah, Moon. I played Moon. I, it's been so long since I played that I even forgot the version I was playing. But Kudavati Bindo! Ugh, oh, everyone falls to the ground. Looks super cute. That'd be a great time to Encore if it was actually a threatening Pokemon, but it ain't. So, goodbye. So long, Clefairy, with your non-green ears. Oh man. There goes it. Feh. Feh? What does feh mean? Feh, 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 feh. We got a lot more trainers in this route, honestly, so. Yeah, I think we're gonna stop when we get to the po There is a Pokemon Summit up ahead, but I was really hoping to get to the end of this particular route just because, you know, it's a lot more I wanna do. How about you just slow down and give me the chance to defeat you? Well, jeez. Jeez. All right. These people are just so rude now. Manford? What kind of name is Manford anyways? Not a very good one. I'm gonna say that. You know what? You deserve a pluck to the face. Polyrath, the objectively worst evolution of Poliwhirl. I love Politoed. I just don't get Polyrath. I, I don't know. I think it's a cool concept for sure, but what is it? What is it actually? Is this like a, t a tadpole with arms? Is that what it's supposed to be? Like, I don't know. Maybe there's a trick I'm missing. Maybe I'm missing a trick? I don't know, but... There it, go there it goes, Polyrath. I would love to use a Polyrath someday. Because I have a lot of... I can have games now to trade back and forth, and I can record these games. I can actually use a Polyrath or something for a playthrough if I ever get the opportunity to. And this probably would have been the best game to do that. But my heart was set on Jugong, which is probably the easiest... Oh, come on. You... Oh my god, I probably would have wanted to have fought the, uh... I probably would have wanted to have fought the Black Belt over the Hiker. Oh my god. You jerks. Dwight! Why do you have a Magneton? That's not... That's not... That's not kosher. That ain't kosher. Whatever that is, but we're gonna take a chance. 
It's not Nuzlocke, so I'm not too concerned about Nosferatu dying, but Nosferatu has got this. Like, come on. Screech! That's the best you got! Well, okay, next one. It's gonna be a critical, just watch. Not quite a critical, but that's okay. Critical's never come when you want them, but see, it's okay. It, it, it locked on. You always gotta take a chance and throw it a guess, even if 95% of my guesses are wrong. There goes Magneton, so... Must, I never expected a hiker to have a Magneton, I will say that. Well, I think that's an interesting touch. Steel Lex. Steel Lex. Um, I want to use Bailey just because probably the best coverage, but uh, I'm nervous too, because Bailey, you love PLTs and your health is low. Oh, oh dear. My poor heart can't take this. For you. Wash away those that defy me. Do it. Do it up. Can we do it? Yes. Yeah, 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 good job. The power of Mystic Water and the power of Bailey's self-determination and Parido did it. Dwight, peace, even though I lost. The for victory, all that wonderful jazz and stuff like that of miscellaneous of sorts. So it's over here. Got another trainer? Really? I don't want to fight another trainer, so. Yeah, my shoes are always gonna detect them. I probably should have put off taking off the shoes, but oh well. One more trainer won't hurt before we end this episode off, so I'm gonna go heal up after this. And once we do that, we're gonna go into Mount Moon. Why am I excited to go to Mount Moon? Well, people who play those games, you know, you know. People who only played the first generation, you guys are probably confused, because like, what the heck? Mount Moon sucks, but honestly, I don't hate Mount Moon. It's not it's definitely not the worst, it's definitely not the best. I think it's pretty pretty in the middle. As far as Difficulty, frustration goes. I don't think it's particularly frustrating of a level. I think at the end game it's the most frustrating because there's poison everywhere and you gotta be really careful. But if you're smart about it, that moon's not difficult. I just think rock tunnels are just way worse. Especially in this game because you have to freaking um, bring flash anyways for an optional dungeon. That, that, that shouldn't be the case. But they do that for a dark cave, which I barely explored. And they do that for. Uh, rock Tunnel, which I will never explore, because no one- I've only gotten one peak of interest to show off Rock Tunnel, so it really it's not worth my time at this point, so... Unless more people want to see it, then Rock Tunnel is off the table, and I'm gonna be okay with that. <laughs> so we're good. Bailey got a level 2, so he's pretty good right now. Pretty happy boy. So Bert, get out of- yeah, that's hot! But we gotta go to the Pokemon Center and finish things up. So... Until the next episode, let's see what's going on over here. Heal me up, lady. Nothing special in here. So, I will see you guys in the next video once the healing session is done. But until then, stay cute. Whatever. Bye. Things that I want to say. Yes. Hand them off to me. Goodbye.